You don't know me. A confession I can't take back. I am... The Masked Speaker. For the first time in Masked Speaker history, we've got a scandalous confession and a personal request oh, wrapped ooh. into one. Let's hear it. Whoa. I don't know what the request is yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. Premature. <laughs> it feels like your MO. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing bad happens when you say yes before you know anything. Uh-huh. And yeah. let's bring on our listener who's chosen the alias Jillian for herself. Jillian, how you doing today? Hey, I'm okay. How's it going? Are you glad that Jeffrey is already a willing participant? I'm glad to get this off my chest. Let's put it like that. Okay. okay. Well, okay. our All voice right. changer is on. You are now the mass speaker, Jillian. So we'll get to your personal request in just a bit, but let's start with your confession. Okay. So ever since the pandemic, mm-hmm. um, I started going to therapy. Yeah. With everything going on, it was, okay, the perfect time to go. Why not, right? Good. Amazing that you found one that was available. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I keep trying to hire one, but they all label me as lost cause. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> At least we're all working on our mental health. Yeah. yeah. You know, if should. you can get an appointment. So things were good. I was, you know, I found them to be helpful and stuff. I was like, okay, made a good choice to come. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. But then after a while, my therapist kept asking about my personal, like, relationship life. Ugh. <laughs> Why are they prying into your personal stuff? That's not what therapy's about. It's surface. Yeah, and it, it was okay at first. I kind of just brushed it off, but then, like, it became repetitive. It was like every single session they were asking me, like, why are you single? Why aren't you dating? Why do you sound like my mom? Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. It's your job to tell me why I'm not dating. Just take my money, you yeah. silly man. <laughs> but you feel my frustration. Totally. So I was totally. getting, like, really, really upset, and, and I couldn't avoid it, and I didn't want to be rude, so... Kind of on the spur of the moment, I, like, randomly made up a boyfriend. Oh, oh no. Oh. You finally, like, oh. fine. <laughs> I am dating. Um, yeah. Yeah, His yeah. Names, what did you name him? I called him Sam. Okay. Mm, oh, okay. okay. So it was, it was working for a while with yeah. the therapist. It was like, okay, well, he's kind of, like, giving me a break from the relationship stuff. So. And it's always a good sign when you're lying to your therapist. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> things are going well in life. You should really extend it and be like, he's sitting right here next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, meet my therapist. Well, it, it got worse. So even my family, like, they kept asking me the same questions, like, about my personal life. And I'm just, like, easy alone. So I was like, okay, what the hell? Like, why don't I try to say at least? my family, a Sam, you know, whatever. Oh, Sam's meeting the therapist and the parents now. Wow. <laughs> well, it's good. It helps keep your story straight. Like, if you're just telling one lie the entire way through. Yeah, and I don't know. We were, like, eating pizza, and I had, like, um, you know, those cheese sticks that you dip in the sauce, and like, my favorite. And they were, like, asking me about him, and I was just like, oh, LOL, haha, his, na- his nickname is Sauce. 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 Sam's nickname is Sauce. <laughs> His name is oh. Marinara. Yeah. Not a good way to get your family's approval of a boyfriend. Oh, oh God. He's a well, Italian. I thought it was kind of funny, and I didn't know what to say. Like, it was a big joke to me at the time, but they were, like, taking it super seriously. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, Did oh, my he God. just get out of prison? <laughs> Why is his name Sauce? Why does he need a nickname? His name is already so short. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else, to, like, any other details to provide. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, it was working for, like, a while, but then my therapist was like, oh, well, what did you and sauce do for the weekend and I was like you know we went out of town and went to the mountains you have this perfect dating life with him I mean are you thinking as he's asking you this just tell him the truth just tell the is the therapist a man I forget yeah, it's a guy, but okay. I was like, I, we were kind of getting it so deep that, like, the amount of weeks that this was going on, I was like, well, I can't tell him I'm lying now. What do I do? So, oh, no. you just kept it going. I don't blame you. I mean, I'd feel like if I told them now that they'd finally just commit me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, my therapist actually thought it'd be a fantastic idea to do, like, a couple's therapy. Oh, oh no. Nice. Imaginary boyfriend. Yeah, she's like, oh, J- Jillian, you've been expressing a lot of erratic behaviors ever <laughs> since you met this guy. Maybe we should have a little sit down <laughs> yeah and then my mom was like oh he should come over for pizza night and stuff and i was like oh my god what did i get myself into yes. <laughs> at that point you should just probably pretend to break up with him yeah you have to yeah. dump him you yeah, do not true. let mm-hmm. sauce dump you okay no. girl yeah. I, I did i like broke up with my imaginary boyfriend oh. and they were like worried about me they're like oh gosh what happened what did he do to you i was like no no it's fine it's not a big deal you know he's just always gone for like his male mm-hmm. modeling gig uh, <laughs> uh, sauce is the male model. Model. Okay. <laughs> but he's rich too he wasn't awful he was just never there yeah. so i was like okay whatever it's done with but <laughs> oh my god okay and, okay i don't know things like got boring after a while and then they kept asking me the same questions again like weeks later and i was like not this again so i just 
I know this is awful, and I feel so bad, but I brought Sauce back. Oh, no! You got what? back to get... You, you no. reconciled with Sauce? No. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, well, he did some big apology, and he came to find me, and so we're together. He flew private from Wait. Paris, so oh. he came and forgave me. So Girl, much. you were That's out bad. of the lie. Why would you bring the lie back? I don't know, because I thought it was my safety net, and it clearly was not. Yeah, imaginary oh. boyfriends will never be there for you. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you. You are really creative with your habitual lying. Like, you've, yeah. you've uh-huh. woven quite a web for yourself. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's something to applaud, Jeffrey. <laughs> well, I, it's impressive. I don't think I could have come up with this. So what are you going to do? They're going to find out at some point. I, I was hoping you guys could, you know, help me find somebody to fill the spot for me. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Wait, you no. really do want somebody. For real. Girl. Oh, you want somebody man. to pose as sauce at your therapy session? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, my gosh. You know, this is a bad idea. You get a new therapist. Yeah, this is a horrible <laughs> idea. So text in to 78592 if you're willing to do it. Exactly. <laughs> do you have what it takes to be sauce? We will hook you up. You're Jillian. I will say, what if we actually found a date for her out of this and it worked oh, out? That would be so be funny. Cute. And, and you, cute. like, made sauce a reality. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Actually, that's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, perfect. Text in 78592. Maybe we can get you a date with sauce. Also, yeah. if you have your own confession that you've been holding on to, we'll hide your identity, mask your voice, and make you the next mass speaker. Yes. Phone tap's coming up next.